Sea Guardians, The Battle Against Toxic Waste Once upon a time, in a small town by the coast, lived a girl named Chloe. Chloe had always been fascinated by the sea and the creatures that lived in it. As a child, she would spend hours on the beach, collecting seashells and watching the waves crash against the shore. As she grew older, Chloe's fascination with the sea only intensified. She spent her days studying marine biology, learning everything she could about the creatures that lived in the ocean. One day, while out on a boat with a group of researchers, Chloe spotted something in the distance. It was a large, dark shape, moving through the water with incredible speed. As they got closer, Chloe realized what it was, a massive whale, its body covered in scars and wounds. The researchers were quick to take notes and measurements, but Chloe couldn't help but feel a sense of sadness and concern for the animal. After the research trip, Chloe couldn't stop thinking about the whale. She knew that it needed help, but she wasn't sure what she could do. She decided to do some research, hoping to find a way to help the whale and other sea creatures that were suffering. That's when she stumbled upon an organization called Sea Guardians. The group was dedicated to protecting marine life and the ocean ecosystem. They worked to raise awareness about the dangers facing sea creatures and fought to create protected areas where marine life could thrive. Chloe was inspired by their work and decided to join the organization. She started out by volunteering at local events and helping to spread the word about the importance of protecting the ocean. As she became more involved with Sea Guardians, Chloe's passion for marine life grew stronger. She knew that she wanted to do more to help, but she wasn't sure how. Then, one day, she received a call from the head of Sea Guardians. There was a problem in a small town on the other side of the country. A company had been dumping toxic waste into the ocean, and it was causing irreparable damage to the marine life in the area. The Sea Guardians were organizing a protest, and they needed someone to lead it. Chloe was hesitant at first, but she knew that this was her chance to make a difference. So she packed her bags and set off to the small town, determined to do whatever it took to protect the ocean and its creatures. When she arrived, she was greeted by a group of dedicated activists, all of whom shared her passion for marine life. They spent their days protesting outside the company's headquarters, holding up signs and chanting slogans. But it wasn't enough. The company refused to listen, and the toxic waste continued to pour into the ocean. Chloe knew that they needed to do more. So she came up with a plan. They would sneak into the company's facility and shut down the waste disposal system, effectively putting an end to the toxic dumping. It was a risky plan, but Chloe and the other activists were willing to take the risk. They spent days planning and preparing, going over every detail until they were sure that they had a solid plan. Finally, the day of the mission arrived. Chloe and the others snuck into the facility under cover of darkness, using their knowledge of the area and their skills to avoid detection. As they made their way through the facility, Chloe's heart was pounding. She knew that they were taking a huge risk, but she also knew that it was the right thing to do. Finally, they reached the waste disposal system. Chloe quickly got to work, shutting down the valves and disconnecting the pipes. The others stood guard, keeping watch for any security personnel. It was a tense few minutes, but in the end, they were successful. The toxic waste stopped flowing into the ocean, and the company was forced. 